Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here, and welcome to my tent house tutorial. It's got everything you need to live inside of a tent. It looks really, really nice. I think it's pretty awesome. It doesn't take too many materials to build. The only thing that you might need to get is the wool. You can make a sheep farm for that. You can make really anything. It's got a little window garden, and it looks really, really nice, and it's really easy to build. So yeah, let's get to the tutorial. All right, so for your tent house, you're gonna need the materials from my hop bar below. You can use any color of wool, but in my opinion, the spruce looks great with some red wool. So I'm just going to use red wool and yeah. So there is nine total blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The total length is nine blocks and you wanna build up one, two, three, four, five, and then build it back down. And then you wanna just connect all of your wool like this. And then you will end up with the tent shape. So let me do that and come right back. All right, so if you wanna pause that and come right back, you can. But for now, I'm going to remove this because it is unneeded. And now you wanna take your spruce wood stairs and see how I did it over here. You wanna start one and then put one block space uh, in between them. Go all the way up to the top. And then on the top, you wanna to put your spruce slabs running across the top. And then on the end, you wanna put an upside down stair and then put a stair facing outwards on top of it. it. Gives you a cool little roof point like that. I kind of like those. A lot of people do them. Not really copying, but I just, just not. There's only, you know, so many ways to place stairs. And now let's go ahead and do that. And now the exterior tent is done. But now we're going to put the supports in. So one support is going to be right in the middle. And the other one is going to be right in the middle as well. And then we're going to fill in the rest with cobblestone. And now you want to pick one side to be the side that has the doors and everything. So, you know, how you get in and out, of course. You know how that works. So I'm going to choose this side to be the entrance. And you want to put upside down stairs right there and there. And we're going to have two entrance ways. Boom. And boom. Then place the doors from the inside. And so let's go over here and let's check this out. So see how I did this? I put uh, cobblestone walls, then I made them go up like this, and they touch that. And then you want to take your slabs. I'm going to go ahead and set the time back to 2000 so it makes it a lot easier to see. And now you want to just do your uh, little roof thingy right there, and that, that looks really nice in my opinion. Pretty easy to do. Doesn't take. Oh, I already have the trap door failing all over. Let's put the trapdoor there. Let's grab a torch and let's put it right there. Grab the trapdoor back. Let's go on the other side. We're actually going to need some glass panes. Where are those? There they are. And we're going to put one right there and one right there. And then as you can see, I did sort of a uh, window thing. Window, what are they called? Window garden, I guess. I don't really know how to describe that. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the trap door. I don't, I don't know if it's quicker to search for it or go to the other side of the build and just grab it. I'm not really sure. I should probably like test that time and see if it is. Got a blue orchid. I'm gonna grab all my three flav flavorite flowers. Tongue twister, favorite flowers. Say that like 50 times in a row. Extremely fast and see if you can do it. Now we're gonna dra drag, yeah. We're gonna drag the cobblestone walls to our inventory. Put those right there, and we're going to do the exact same thing we did on the other side with the spruce slabs. And there we go. And so now, as you can see, they both look the exact same. And now the exterior is done, so I'm going to grab the interior materials, and I will be right back. So for the floor in here, you're going to take your spruce logs, and you're going to make a checkerboard pattern like this. And you're going to do one direction facing this way, and then the other one, you can do it the opposite direction. So that's going to be a pain in the booty to make, so I'm not going to make you guys watch that. So, boom. There we go. All done. And now uh, we're going to need lighting in here. So let's go ahead and grab some torches. And let's just put the crafting table there for now. I'm going to put lighting right there, there, and then in the middle blocks here. Go ahead and grab this back. Uh, we are going to do a bed. And uh, before I do that, you want to just fill in this bottom layer with wool. It's pretty much useless. Can't really put much under it. And now let's go ahead and grab the crafting table. I have to type in the I now for some reason. Probably that gray text. And then let's put a blue orchid. Can't forget the blue orchid inside the builds. Outside doesn't count, but you want to have at least one. Now you want to do furnace, chest, furnace, chest, furnace. 
And right here, you're gonna wanna do a brewing stand, a furnace, and an anvil. And then you're gonna need a painting. So let's go ahead and grab that painting. And guys, a common question of the day, by the way, is what is your favorite flooring material, flooring style? Go ahead and just type that comment right now. You're not going to miss much. The tutorial is pretty much over. So thank you guys so much for telling me that. I really hope you actually did. And I'm not just thanking you for sitting there and doing nothing and listening to my voice. So if you haven't, type it in. Leave a like if you guys like this video and like the tutorial. It really helps me and shows me that you guys like it. Liking doesn't really give me anything per se, but it just shows me that you like the video. If you dislike the video, leave a dislike. Tell me why in the comment section. If you're going to dislike it, that's your choice. You're allowed to. Of course, I don't really care. But I'd like to know what I did wrong so that I can improve it in the next video. If you'd like to see more tutorials like these and much, much more, please leave a subscription to my channel. You'll get notified when I upload. And also, the link to my texture pack and shader pack is in the description below. Link to my Twitter is there so you can send me the pictures of this build or any of my builds. Anyways, long outro. It's so hard to do and I I don't know how I'm actually not messing up. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys later. Bye.